Yes. What are we doing today? Well, first of all, we're no longer in Tokyo. <laughs> we're in Fukuoka. Fu no, Fukuoka. Which one's the more correct way of saying it? I think whatever you say is right. <laughs> I've been told plenty of times that's not the case. Um, we're in Fukuoka, which is, insert something that you'll do to show where we are, and it's a lot more relaxed than Tokyo. Anyway, this is what we're doing today. We're doing all of this. We're basically exploring Ohori Park and Maizuru Park. We're going to rekindle our friendship in the forest. Is that a widow I oh, Willow Island? Wow. <laughs> Impending murder. No! Anyway, I heard that there's a hot dog stand here and I'm really hungry, so... Cheese winner, one Do you want mustard? Yes, please. Hi, I'm going to Hi. Thank you. I can't see anything, it's so bright. We got our food. Hungry. Yeah. Let's get a drink as well with the change. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to the vending machine. Do you want one of those toys? Uh, I've got one at home already. Yeah? You do? You do? No. Oh. What do you want? I want a Sodi Pop. I'll let you decide on the Sodi Pop. There's Premier Fanta Lemon, Icy Spark Lemon, Coca Cola. Do you want peach soda? Do you have enough money for it? Yeah. I saved up. Let's find a spot to sit. Momo. Momo. Dean and his friends. I'm just going to take him out, we'll figure it out. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Oh, cheese, cheese, cheese. Okay, you got to open up the hot dog so that we can oh, see you, oh, and then oh. you got to eat Whoa, it. Oh, the goon squad's here. Whoa, that's a lovely hot dog. Yeah, it's got cabbage in it. <laughs> Everything has cabbage in it, in Japan. Yeah, it's good fiber. Not good for me at night time. Nice wiener. Uh, I give it a B-U-N-N-I-N -N out of B-U-N-N-I-N-G-S. We're watching a pretty <laughs> rough turf war here between the seagulls and the ducks. Who do you think you will win? Well, the seagulls have been winning because they've got all that spot over there. But the ducks have stealth. The ducks are relegated to the edges. Aww. There's no way. I mean, the ducks could win the fight if they really wanted to, but the seagulls are just so loud. He's like a peacekeeper, you know? Diplomat. The referee. There he goes. Man. What a guy. Personally, I feel like I'm a duck. Calm, relaxed, having a great time. Just trying to chill out with my buds. And you are one of those seagulls. Telling people how to live their life. Actually, maybe I'm more like a pigeon, you know? Just chilling. I love pigeons. Do you like the peach soda? I really do. And the seagulls infiltrated the ducks now, but he's a bit of an outcast. It's a bit of a Romeo and Juliet situation, I think. To really understand the plight of the ducks, we need to become a duck. So we're going into the duck, for duck's sake. <laughs> One of these bad boys. Do you need a life vest? Yes, to save me from you. Yeah. Fuck you! Yeah. Seagull! Yeah. Get out of here, you dickhead! Yeah. Whoa, there he goes. Oh, he can't keep up with us. Seagulls always lose races. Common knowledge. They've never won a race. This one's for you, ducks. I love you so much, ducks. I wish I've got something similar. I wouldn't action. eat you at Springvale. <laughs> she would. <laughs> My comment. In Express. We're gonna crash on your ass. Boyfriend hates everyone. On the boat, you're a duck, she don't give a fuck. <laughs> We're on a boat. We're on another ducking boat. 
Everybody on the boat, kiss your bro. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Who's the captain? It's not you. Hey. That's true, actually. So who's the captain then? It's me. <laughs> You're the passenger princess. Give me a smooch. A smooch, please. One smooch. Captains don't kiss. Everyone knows this. Give me one smooch. Thanks. I got a smooch. Yeah, this boat's leaning to the left a lot. Can you put some weight on, please? You're making me look bad. Well, at the rate of food, I mean... <gasps> Have we told them about Motunabe? No, we talk about Motsunabe later. Um, In fact, why don't you sing the song? Motsunabe. No, the full song, oh. mate. When, <laughs> when the moon hits your eye like a little bit of by the Motsunabe. <laughs> no! Motsunabe. Menace. I'm not. So we just finished up in the Fukuoka Art Museum and a lot of cool stuff in there. You can't really film too much, but it's definitely worth checking out. I want to say it was like 200 yen per person. Yeah. And you get two floors of kind of old stuff and modern stuff too. So you get best of both worlds. But we're finished there now. Gonna head to the Japanese garden here at Hori Park. Trees. What are we gonna see? Zen, some rocks. Sand. Some, some sand. Hey, have you told everyone your new name, your Japanese name? It's Muyashi. What does Muyashi mean? Mung bean. No, bean it's sprout. bean sprout. That's right, because you've got the little golden top, the little golden top up here. That's Muyashi. Yeah, it's alright. What? <laughs> what? Um, you know, in typical Japanese fashion, they got the best gardens in the world. Um, they do. You know, you got heaps of koi in the pond and meticulously cared for yeah. everything from trees to shrubs to, I don't know, even the rocks on the ground look really good. I love this sort of thing, you know, and for 250 yen, you can't go wrong. You could spend a whole day here. What a bargain. Bargain, mate. Absolute bargain. Anyway, after this, we're heading off to the castle ruins. Hopefully we can see them before they... Well, do they close? I don't know. Hopefully we can get there before it's too dark. And if not, we're heading to get T's favourite Fukuoka dish. Yeah. Motsunabe. Motsunabe. Yeah. What's Motsunabe? Well, it's when the moon hits your eye and there's a big <laughs> motsu pie. Motsunabe. <laughs> it's basically a hot pot dish with beef intestines chives, cabbage, all that sort of thing. Yeah, but don't let that, you know, um, deter you from it. I know it doesn't sound nice, but it is delicious and it's a delicacy here. And in the duration that we're here in Fukuoka, I'm going to try and have this dish as often as I can. Mm. Pretty much everything today was recommended by a friend that we made in Tokyo. Thanks, Thanks Arisa. Arisa. Yay. <laughs> Bit of a sausage fest, eh? Yeah. Well, good day, mate. Big pitch up biz. There's some sort of blossoms everywhere. They're really beautiful in person. Some sort of blossom. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're cherry blossom, plum blossom. We've made it to the castle ruins. Have we? <laughs> yeah, this is the castle ruins. Well, we found the actual castle ruins, at least. So this is where the castle would have stood? Ah. Oh. Am I at a castle now? Yeah. Yeah. Say your famous line. Futari. No. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the pool room.
I'm guessing it was burnt down because it seems like every castle gets burnt down in this country at some point. That sucks. Um, but yeah, this is our final destination before our real final destination. Yes. Thanks, Arissa. Matsunabe. You hungry? I'm so hungry. All right. My energy has like on. I had to go up a massive incline coming up here too. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everyone. Say your favorite word again. Mm. <coughs> Subscribe. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Push it up a bit with my chopsticks. So what we got, there are two options. There's miso base and soy sauce base. And we got the miso base because we tried soy sauce last time. But if the miso is really nice here, we might come back to get the soy sauce one. So you've got chives, you've got cabbage. This is called burdock root and konya and tofu and the matsu. And the cool thing about this place is they said that they cook it in the kitchen so that it's ready to be eaten within 10 minutes upon arrival on table. We also got some fancy drinks because this is a kind of fancy, uh, very fancy place. We got some fancy drinks. Dane got some what did you get? I think it's like a fruity beer milk. Dane got a fruity beer with some blueberries and strawberries in there. Fruity beer milk. Oh, fruity beer milk with some blueberries and strawberries in there. And I got my huge orange cassis. It's delicious. And it's good to like cut up. Um, that fatty taste if it gets a little too much but it, it won't get too much this is good. so you can see it come to a boil and then they gave us extra veggies there too Huey's kitchen thank you